In this video, let's explore on how to use a event widget of a classic advanced plugin. First, open the Elementor editor and click on the space icon to add a new section, or you can add it in your existing section. And you can click this option to choose your preferred layout. And in the left sidebar, click on the switches and search for the event. Simply click on it to add it in your section. In the left side, you can enter your class name in the extra class field. By this, you can customize this widget. Uh, the next part is query. Here, you can enter number of your post we you want to show per page. And the next one is author. Here, you can choose your author name. And the next one is include post. Here, you can choose the post you want to display. And the next option is exclude post. Here you can choose your post you don't want to display. And the next one is order by. Here you can choose the preferred order by from post ID, post author title, etc. Let's choose post ID now. And the next one is order. Here you can choose from ascending or descending. The next part is layouts. And here you can change the preferred alignment for the widget. And this is the exit length. Here you can change the length of the description. And the next one is post layout. Here you can choose it from default classic modern, classic pro or list. And here you can choose your preferred columns from these. Let's choose three columns. And the next one is read more text. You can enter your text for the read more here. And here you can enable or disable the post mesentry. And this is the post variation. You can choose it from light or dark. And these are the post items. And here you can enable the preferred items to the enabled area. Also, you can drag and drop unwanted items to the disabled area. And here you can adjust this items alignment. And the next one is post overlay items option. Here you can enable or disable it. And drag your preferred item to the enabled area. And the next option is post top editor. Here you can enable preferred item to the left and right. And the next one is post bottom editor. Here you can enable your preferred item to the left or right. The next part is title. Here you can change your preferred title tag size. And the next part is image. Here you can choose your preferred image resolution from these options. The next part is slide. Here you can enable or disable it. And this is the slide items. Here you can enter your preferred slide items for the desktop. And here you can enter a preferred slide item for the tab. And here you can enter preferred slide items for the mobile. And here you can enable or disable all this autoplay loop item center navigation and pagination and this is the items margin here you can enter your preferred value with pixels for space between this slide items And the next one is items duration. Here you can change the duration time. Also, you can change your items smart speed value here. And the next option is item slide by. Here you can enter the number of slide items that will move at a time. And the next part is links. Here you can enable or disable target blank and no follow for image title and read more links. Let's moving to the style and here you can change the color for this grid and also you can change background color for the grid here here you can change box shadow style also you can disable the box shadow here and this is for padding here you can enter preferred inner space value for this grid also you can change all this in the hover too 
by clicking here or the next part is title here you can change title transform option like capitalized uppercase or lowercase and here you can change the title color and here you can change the size of the title and this is for title margin here you can enter auto space value for the title and here you can enter inner space value for the title and this is for changing title spot and space and this is the typography here you can change font family and font style for the title the next part is links here you can change the color of the default post links also you can change it in the hover tool and the next one is top meta links here you can choose your preferred color for the top meta also you can change it in the hover tool and the next one is bottom meta links here you can change your preferred color for the bottom meta also you can change it in the hover tool and this is the overlay link color choose your preferred link color here also you can change it in the hover to the next part is image here you can change the image style like squared rounded or circled and this is the image resize option here you can enable or disable it and here you can adjust the size of the image as per your requirement and also you can change the image button space here and this is the image background color choose your preferred color for the image here and here you can adjust the inner space value for the image and the next one is border here you can choose preferred border type for the image and the next part is read more button here you can change the text shadow style for the button and the next one is transform here you can choose capitalized uppercase or lowercase and this is for button text color you can choose your preferred color here also you can change the button's background color here and the next one is hover here you can change button text hover color also you can change button's background color for the hover here and here you can change the border color in the hover and the next one is border type you can choose preferred border type for the button here also you can change the border radius and here you can change the box shadow also you can adjust the style of the box shadow here also you can remove this box shadow by clicking here and the next one is padding here you can enter inner space value for the button and here you can change the font family and font style of the button here and the next part is meta here you can change top meta typography also you can change font style for the top meta and here you can adjust the bottom space of the top meta and the next one is bottom meta here you can change bottom meta's font family and font style and here you can adjust bottom space of the bottom meta and the next part is content here you can change the content color also you can change for font family and font style of the content and this is for adjusting bottom space of the content and this is the address icon color you can change your preferred color you can change all this in the hover view too or the next part is overlay and here you can change the font family and font style of the overlay text and here you can enter preferred inner space value for the overlay text and here you can adjust the top position of your overlay also you can adjust lift position of your overlay here and this is for background color you can choose your preferred color for the overlay background also you can change it in the hover too 
फाइनली अपडेटेड